Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Luke from BB Guns for Less, and this right here is the Well D90F, which is, as you probably Call of Duty people recognise it as, the P90. And this thing is pretty damn cool. Uh, first of all, you'll notice it is a two tone gun, it is bright blue, but to be honest, it looks like such a space age gun anyway that who cares what colour it is. Um, so first of all, looking at the box, it does say it shoots 400 shots per minute, 400. 6mm BB capacity and a not too bad range of 20 meters. So perfect for you youngsters or maybe just you kind of teenagers that you want to whack in your back garden and go for some uh, kind of back garden skirmishes with your friends really. Um, so you know what? Let's whack it open. So we'll uh, check that to one side. First of all, you get your instruction manual in Chinese and English. Is it Chinese? I believe it is. To be honest, we're going to put that to one side. Uh, we get a pack of BBs, mm, not too bad quality, but you can get better ones off the website. So make sure you head out in the website, the link is in the description, where you can buy the gun and check out some better ammo and some other cool accessories. Have a charger, you also have a sling, and of course, your safety goggles. They're the most important part. But what you really want to see most after the horrible weekend. Oh, and of course you do get a uh, cleaning rod. And what you want to see most is the gun itself. Now this thing, this is pretty damn cool. I have already put in the battery. The battery simply fits in the back, just in there. That's all connected up and ready to go. Um, so this is the gun. Overall, it's got a nice kind of weight to it. It's got a nice little feel. Oh, I love the P90. It's, it's got such a little close quarter combat kind of feel to it. What I'd really love to do is whack a red dot sign on there. Now that would look sweet. Maybe, maybe just a little cool, short, stubby silencer. But uh, overall, that would be pretty cool. So obviously this gun is uh, basically safe and full auto. And um, this is this right here. This is the magazine, which is a uh, not the really most conventional magazine. Um, obviously, it does partake of the real gun itself. And uh, you simply fill up by pouring into there, and that all loads in there like that. And you can simply slide the magazine in place like that, clip it down, and it's in and ready to go. But to be honest, you don't even need to do that because you can simply slide that forward, pull your BBs in, and there you go, you've got a rapid reload. Um, so, overall, nice kind of feel. Ridiculously cheap, guys. Obviously, it is a uh, more of a budget gun for your back garden plickers. Uh, the links are in the description below, you can check that out on the website. And, um, it's not a bad bit of kit. It's got a nice little finish on it, considering it is plastic. Um, it's got a decent weight, actually. I was, I was quite surprised when I got this out. And um, it's quite fun. I've had a little go in the back garden, and I can tell you, it's not a bad gun at all. Um, it's the sort of thing I would have loved when I was maybe a little bit younger, and kind of running around the garden. We were, well, we used to have all my mates around in the back garden. We used to have our own like budget guns, what we back then didn't know were budget guns. And this is the sort of thing we had. I myself had a G36, which I loved a bit. And uh, that thing was probably, was probably only shooting about 20 meters range as well. But that's not bad for something when you're in the back garden. 20 meters is a long way. Um, so overall, guys, uh, you probably want to see some firing. So I'm going to whack in some BBs. I'm going to whack in some ammo. And uh, I'm going to go for a little shooting test. Okay, guys, so I've got the gun all loaded up. And of course, safety first. You always remember safety goggles. As no matter how powerful the gun can be, and be damaging to your eyesight, so um, let's have some fun. <laughs> that's not a bad rate of fire from a little thing like this. And for the price, that's, that's not bad at all. <laughs> this, is, this is a nice little bit of cake. Obviously what this gun could really do with is a decent kind of iron sight, a little red dot on there. Maybe maybe a little laser on that side, I don't know, but possibilities are endless guys. You've got an RS rail on top, you've got two mini RS rails on the side, and um, overall, it's ain't a bad bit of kit. So uh, that's pretty much the end of the review guys. I'm just going to do a quick shooting test on the chronograph, and I'll zoom in quickly for you guys so you can see, and uh, that will finish the review. So thanks very much guys, we'll see you guys later.